Okay, now for the last two edges. Now what you want to try to find is some mismatched edges here. And then you want to take the edge that goes with them and you just want to stick it into it, just like I showed you before. And then you apply the flipping algorithm. And revert the centers back to normal and they will become solved. Okay, but if this happens, where you can't push this edge into these two, then again, just rotate it over here, and then just bring that edge into them, apply the flipping algorithm, and revert the centers back to normal. Okay, now if you find this case, where there's flipped edges here, and flipped edges here, it doesn't matter, you can push that one into there, apply the flipping algorithm, or you can push this one into there, and apply the flipping algorithm, it doesn't matter. But then, you get an edge where the middle edge piece is flipped wrong, and there are no other random edges that you can push this into and apply the flipping algorithm. This is the same parity that occurs on the 4x4, and to fix it, you just use the same algorithm. Just remember that these two layers are R, and these two layers are L. So the algorithm again is 2R, 2B, 2U, L, 2U, RI, 2U, R, 2U, 2F, R, 2F, Li, 2B, 2R. As you can see, it flipped those edges. Now if this happens, when you don't have flipped edges to push the other edge into, do it nonetheless. It's just that the parity error occurs again. Now if this happens, where you don't have any two edges touching each other, what you just do is you bring like this edge over here, or this edge over there, or that edge over there, it doesn't matter. So you do that, apply the flipping algorithm, like that, and you get one of the edges that I have already showed you how to do. And that about sums it up. So there is nothing more to learn as solving it like a 3x3. You just do it. You will have no trouble solving it like you do on the 4x4. So this concludes the tutorial. So if you haven't been able to, you should be able to solve your Rubik's 5x5 now. Join me next time. And we'll take on the next level. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you clicked on that little yellow button to the right of my videos? Let's find out. You may not subscribe to yourself. Ugh. Well, it doesn't look like I have that privilege, so it's up to you. Have a click on it. Why not?